Greetings and good morning, everyone. I'm here about to make a juice and I've been kind of relaxed with the juicing over the past week. I've been consuming food um, after about seven days of juice. And now I've picked up after about, this is the fourth day where I've been juicing. Um, so I haven't been strict with the juicing, but I have been juicing every day. This is the thing. I haven't given up the juice. And then I went and then I had like a, a salad and fish at night, which is not great because I'm only hindering the cleansing process. But, you know, I'm human and the juicing, I can't let the juicing go because it's just so profound in my life. Um, but then... Four days ago, I started on the juice again. So I haven't had anything to eat. Back on the juice, except for coffee in the morning, one coffee, and and gradually decreasing my milk intake. So thinning out my milk every time I have a coffee. But today is the first morning I haven't had a coffee, and I've just had lemon water. Um, and, you know, it's it's really weird because yesterday yesterday so even though i've been loosely eating in the week um i i started the juice fast again for three days had a salad and then it took the next day to purge that fresh poo out and then i've been consistent with juicing ever since so it's been kind of higgledy piggledy i've been kind of all over the place with it but the thing is um, I had a worm bowel movement yesterday and I was shocked because I thought, well, you know, I've kind of been eating a little bit. It's going to take a while for this worm to get back to that worm fecal matter. And it did not. Oh my goodness. It did not take long. Um, and the really weird thing is leading up to this worm bowel movement, I was emotionally feeling off and it just kind of came upon me. I started feeling down, like melancholy. And I thought, this is so unusual for me. I don't naturally feel like this. I thought, where is this coming from? This is so weird. And this was like two days before that bowel movement. And, you know, I had kind of, you know, slight anxiety, feeling a bit melancholy. I thought, this is so odd. Like, what? what is going on? Am I PMSing? Like, I don't even, like, even with PMSing, I'm not like that. And so I didn't really know what was happening. And unbeknownst to me, a bowel movement was coming the next day. And I really think, because let me tell you, an hour prior to me having that bowel movement, I was out in the tomato patch cleaning up my tomatoes and in the hothouse. I started feeling bright again, like it just crept up on me. And then I had to run to the toilet, literally run to the toilet. And it was the most putrid, disgusting worm bowel movement and real blackish, real kind of black. I thought, this is odd. This is really odd. And then after... I was like, so, so prior, like an hour before me having that bowel movement, I lifted. And then after I had the bowel movement, I was back to myself again. Is that not the strangest thing ever? It is so bizarre to me. It's so bizarre that what is happening in our gut can directly influence our moods. And I, I know that, but I mean, I'm just blown away that that happened to me like that. And in many ways, I know it sounds silly, but it's kind of like the worms inside of me knew of their impending doom of, of getting booted out of my system. I don't know, like, it, I, I have no idea, but that, that bowel movement was n just so nasty, like up there with the nastiest that I've had. And it's just so weird that an hour before I passed. So the, those worms would have been sitting in the lower part of my colon, getting ready to purge, unbeknownst to me, and, and I felt lifted. So they'd obviously gone through the whole, you know, wherever they were. And I don't know, maybe they're, maybe because they were going out, 
I don't know, like maybe their impending doom, knowing that they're finished, it was kind of influencing me. I don't know, but I was not myself. And then an hour before I passed, I, I felt bright. So they would have been sitting down in that colon ready to come out of my rectum. And, and then I feel fine. This is so weird. I'm telling you people of Earth. I, and now I feel back to my normal self. <laughs> I probably don't look like my normal self, but um, normal self to me now is when I'm on this juice fast. I love the way I look on a juice fast because my skin changes color. Everything, all the inflammation that I had has decreased. In fact, I'm taking my shoes off now so I can ground on my on my concrete floor because that's obviously permeates straight down to the soil, uh, to the earth. So it look, it's just it's so weird how this is how this is working. And today is the the strictest day and and most of yesterday was the strictest I've been on my juice fast, as in a hundred percent juice, no coffee, no nothing, no nothing, just just juice and a lemon water in the morning, sometimes with a little bit of honey, um, or at night where I just feel hungry and I know I'm gonna, it'll make me restless, so I just have a small little lemon water with honey. On a juice fast, longevity is my primary objective. And if that means I have to have a little bit of lemon water and honey to get me through, I am going to do that. Um, if I have to eat, I've got some dates on hand. If I have to eat some dates, um, if I really feel, I'm not worried about now, but I'm worried about like day 25. If I really, really feel the need to eat something, I've got those on hand. So I would rather eat dates than go and make a big salad with fish and, and cook something. I don't want to do that. I'm trying to move away from that. But um, a juice fast is no joke. Like a long juice fast. My whole year has been devoted to cleaning myself out. And although I did a 60-day juice fast that was broken up on day 30, um I'm not done with the cleanse and this time I want to keep going until I am not pooping anymore. And if that means it's 90 days, if it means it's 120 days, if it means it's 180 days, I'm going to see this out because I want these worms out. I want them out and I want to get over eating cooked food. Like I want to get over that addiction because it really is, it's it's tough to kick, but once you've kicked it, your palate is reprogrammed, your whole body is reprogrammed. So I wanna get these worms out. And that is gonna take time, because they're obviously backed up in me. So I'm not gonna make it easy for them, because I'm gonna see this juice fast through. Um, so if I have a day of, you know, caving in and breaking, you know, breaking the fast of having a salad, I'm going to do it like I'm not going to beat myself up over it. But I hope I don't because I know that if I have a salad or something, you know, like that, I'm only slowing down the cleansing process. I don't want to interfere with that. I'm documenting everything. Um, and what am I weighing? So I'm 107.8 kilos. So I've only put on a kilo since August, since August, because in August I did another small like 10 day juice fast. And I think I was like 106 kilos. My lowest is 104.4. And that was in April. That was after I finished the 60 days of juicing. So that's the lowest. So I've really only um, gained a couple of kilos back. Three kilos is nothing. Like that's, you know, pretty much easy to shift. Um, but it's not about that as well. Like, of course it is about the weight loss. That's going to come. That's a natural byproduct, but it's about cleansing my bowels and my body. And I, I really want to just be the best example of myself. And I know, I know that the only way to do that 
is taking control of my health and doing this juice fast and and consuming a raw food diet after this. I know that's the only way. So it's just been very challenging to to get there. And oh man, the influence of everyday life is real. And I love cooking. I love food. And it's a real effort to break these lifelong addictions. But I am doing it from my health because I want to be a healthy, you know, 40 plus year old woman. So I'm going to just keep trying. I'm just going to keep trying and documenting and being honest about my experiences that it's not easy, but I'm going to do it. My goal, my goal still is, and it still remains the same. I would like to be under a, under a hundred kilos by the end of the year. I think it's doable. I think it's doable. It's, I mean, it's kind of like a superficial goal, but, um, I'm more concerned about the cleansing and not so much about the weight loss, but the weight loss is going to come anyway. Um, so 107.8. So what are we? October, November, December. I think, I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Um, or even getting close to that would be great. Even to be down to 104 again would be great, but it is tough. Like it's, it's tough to maintain a juice fast and, you know, and when you're socializing and you're around food and man, but I'm just going to take it day at a time, just taking it day at a time. I'm documenting in a diary what's going on with me. And I'm documenting pictures of my bowel movements. I'm weighing myself. I've taken eye pictures, but I haven't done any new eye pictures because I haven't progressed that far enough to notice big changes. Like I really need to just stick it out and go the long haul and, and, and do this and do this. So, so we'll see, but I'm going to go make a juice now and enjoy, uh, enjoy my juice for breakfast. And I'll do about a gallon a day, about four liters. So I probably about, oh, I don't have my cup, but there's a cup that glass cup there, I probably drink, drink about 10 a day, 10 a day, 12, 10 to 12. I don't care how much I drink. So long as I'm satiated and I'm not feeling like I need to eat, I'm good. So I drink that all day and I feel amazing. Like I do feel good. I feel really good. Um, just got to stick at it though. I've got to go real deep. Got to go real deep. So that's that's what I'm working on.